Um, I did also want to talk about some of the new upcoming, like you're involved in so many different projects and there's a couple of new, new ventures that, that I know that you're involved with. One of which, uh, is the women's, there's a women's conference that's upcoming. Uh, well, first of all, you're, you're planning a women's summit, correct? Is that correct? Next month, an online women's summit? Um Mm Correct. Yeah, so I'm hosting a women's summit February 26th and February 27th. Uh, There will be four panels. Um, I can go ahead and list the panels for you. Uh, Women's health care, violence against women, uh, women's activism, and women in the workplace. And I I chose those topics in particular because I feel that these are things that we do need to discuss. We talk about it more so on a a general level, but we need to talk about how these these issues affect women in particular, especially violence against women, um, because that's been an ongoing issue in this country for a long time. Um, So that should be a pretty cool event. I've already booked a lot of people for that so far. I'm waiting on a couple more confirmations, and then you guys will start to see promos for that as well. Wow. Wow. That's, that's awesome. Thank you. And again, it's, it's a lot of work to organize these events. I don't know how, you know, from people that, that are watching on the back end. Um, and, and again, we, we don't, what we want to do is we're getting education out of this. We're not making money, quote unquote, you know, this is not, not for profit. This is for education. This is for uh, bringing, raising awareness in the space and and again, I, I'm a huge supporter, and I, I'll do all I can to to amplify. And of course, you'll know it'll be included in 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 the left news and leftist today. I know you're also involved in in uh, in an event that Sharif is planning. I believe on March eighth. Are, are you involved yeah. with that? Mm-hmm. I'm involved on the. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to be there in person because it's on it's on a Tuesday. Uh, for March 8th. So I may not be there in person, but I am involved with the logistics. So Sharif did include me in that group as well. So I told him I could try to help and amplify as many ways as possible as he needs, even if it's marketing or promo materials as well. Yeah. And th- and that's an international women's day. I believe he's trying, he- he's holding, correct? So that's, that's great. And, and again, so many things you're involved with. And now this, this new venture with, with round table, and, and I'm really excited to to learn a little bit more about uh, round table I went and I looked at your page and for anybody that hasn't seen it, let me drop it in the chat. It's actually in the description uh, for the video now, wherever you are, um, uh, unless you're on Twitter, in which case uh, uh, go to go to Savvy's uh, Twitter page and you'll be able to find the round table link on there. But but talk a little bit about round table. I know you did a little two minute commercial on on your channel and. And I watched it and I've shared it quite a bit, but, but I want everyone else to, to hear it that hasn't had a chance to, to hear about it yet, uh, right, right from you. Absolutely. So Roundtable is a new platform. It's solely for uh, independent media. Um, so in reference to, if you were to compare it to like YouTube or Rumble, it's different in the sense that you won't go on Roundtable and find vlogs or like cooking videos. It's just journalism. Um, from independent people. So a couple of months ago, they reached out to me and we had a meeting, a couple of meetings, and they asked me if I was interested to partner with them or to become a partner with them. And after what I saw, I thought like, this is a good idea. Like we need to have a platform that's solely for like journalism, uh, whether it's video, whether it's articles as well. Um, So I signed on with them and my site just recently launched. So what's cool about Roundtable is you can go onto the site and if you wanted to just see like journal articles, you can just read articles. If you wanna see videos, you can see videos. But everybody that's a partner with Roundtable has their own Roundtable site. So everything that you see me produce, whether it's on YouTube or a Substack, which I'm gonna get back into writing more articles for Substack soon, will all be connected on my roundtable site and it will redirect you to those sites as well. So it's another place to, uh, you know, introduce more traffic. I think that's important because independent media is heavily suppressed on YouTube, as you guys can tell. Um, So you need to be on as many platforms as possible. And this is something I recommend for everybody. Don't just rely on YouTube. Try Rockfin as well. Um, I'm also going to try to check out Rumble. You need to be on as many platforms as possible because you never know what's going to happen with YouTube. So I am really excited about it. 
there were a couple guys that came together and created Roundtable. Uh, one of them actually uh, ran third party. Uh, some of you might be familiar with him, Brock Pierce. Uh, he was also in the Mighty Ducks, which I know that's random, but he was. I, I didn't realize that at the time. Um, Robert uh, also, who uh, who I first met with, he's worked with NBC. He's worked with all of these different like mainstream media uh, networks and basically kind of like a lot of us, he got tired of the information that was being put out. And so he left that, uh, and decided to work more with independent media. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about it. I'm really pumped. And I think this, we need more of this something where it's just for independent media. So people can have that source and not have to fiddle through uh, YouTube and depend on the algorithm. Oh, this is this is a great page. I've actually I'm actually sharing it on screen right now for everybody to see while you've been talking about it. And at the uh, you can even buy Savvy Sab's merch. Check that out. You've got the merch store attached to it too. Love it. So everything that is the world of Savvy Sab's in one central location here at 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 uh, uh, Roundtable.io. So everybody, please go check this out and sign up for this. Uh, I'm I'm a fan. I, I like what I'm seeing here. Um, this is a really cool platform, uh, and I, I like the concept. I actually uh, did watch some of the independent debates last year or in 2020, and I, I actually kind of was digging what Brock Pierce had to say. So when I heard that he was involved with this, uh, I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. I'm I'm down with that. Uh, and, and now that I see that you're involved and, and that Nico's involved, I'm like, all right, well, well, how do I get involved now? So hopefully in the near future, will this, this platform will be expanding to, to some other, other people and some other content creators. And we'll see a lot more of our, uh, people from our space in here. Uh, now I know that you also said that it's not just left independent media, but also, you know, right independent media but it's it's open to independent media and not just from the political vertical but but all verticals correct correct and they also do a round table on round table which i've already done one of those uh with teddy teddy came on my show last week i met him on a round table and what they'll do is they'll they'll put you together with people that have a different opinion, which is honestly, that's the way it should be, right? Like it gets boring sometimes just bringing on people who agree with you on everything. So mm -hmm. they'll put together people that have a difference of opinion, but they're knowledgeable about the subject matter that's being presented. So I was on a panel with uh, Teddy, LA Progressive and Robert, and we were talking about the class race issue. And it was a really interesting uh, discussion. So they do round tables as well. But again, I think the difference is like you're with people that have a difference of opinion. Well, and again, I, I think it's really important because you can change their minds. And and uh, we see that happen. And what, what you really find is that we agree on about 75 percent of the issues and we fight about 25% of the issues pretty hardcore, but, but most of the things we all agree on, and maybe it's the nuance of exactly how we want to get there. But I think having platforms that show that we actually do can have conversations where we can have disagreements, have in-depth conversation where we both come away saying, well, I respect what you have to say and you respect what I have to say, but we're going to agree that they're both valid points, but they're in counter to each other that that can happen too i mean it, you know uh, again just just super excited about about this platform uh that the fact that that you're on it and and helping to launch it and um my goodness 